Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, question mark, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Oh my word, I just got back from the Dollar Tree and can I just tell you, I found the most amazing random finds I think that I've ever really found at the Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree haul is really full of just random cool items outside of the crafting items or decor items. Sure, there are a couple of those in here, but really, I found some great finds that I was really excited to share with you, things that I think you should keep your eye open for at your local Dollar Tree. And so I can't wait to show you some of the things that I found. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's get to it, and let me show you all the great things that I found. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start off with some of my favorite finds, and this, to be honest with you, is in no particular order. It's gonna be random. A lot of the items I picked up today are random and it's just gonna be in whatever order that I take it out of the bag in. And so usually I try to organize it, but I'm not doing that today. First favorite find, oh my word. Can I just show you that, yeah, to go with those really cool flag poles, flag sticks that Dollar Tree has, I found these two amazing new flags. I am loving this lemon one. And of course, no explanation is needed on this one. Absolutely love it. Can I just tell you, I am absolutely 100% obsessed with the new flowers that Dollar Tree is carrying. Oh my word, can you see how beautiful these are? The colors are so farmhouse chic. I am loving the purples. I am loving the sage greens. Look at how gorgeous these flowers are. And these flowers are the same color, these leaves, as those lamb ears. I am loving these. I had to pick up about five bunches of them because I just know that I'm gonna wanna use them in a DIY. And so yes, if you see these, these are called lavender. <laughs> huh, lavender of all things. I didn't know that. Is this what lavender looks like? I mean, I knew, it, I guess it is what lavender looks like, but I love it. And I maybe I've just never seen them in flowers. These were actually on my list of items to keep my eye open for, and it's been a few months. I kind of forgot about them until I saw them, and I thought, oh my word, there were those succulents that I wanted a while ago, and now they're here. See, I say that too. Look at how cool these are. I am loving the colors. They're just these light, subtle colors. Boy, oh boy, do I have a DIY, isn't that pretty, in store for you using these. I am just loving these. And so how many did I pick up? I picked up seven. For those of you who have not caught on yet, I am all about nail polish. I love nail polish. I do my own nails. I polish them a couple times a week, and I typically do it, I kid you not, before I go to bed and I fall asleep with my hands hanging off the edge of the bed so I don't mess up my polish because I don't have time during the day to paint my nails and let them dry and do nothing so they can dry. So I figure the best time to paint them is when I am doing nothing, which is sleeping. Uh, yeah, Maybelline at the Dollar Tree in a two pack, amazing. This nail polish goes for about five or six dollars a bottle and I think it's awesome that Dollar Tree has a great brand name nail polish. And what I love even more is that you're getting two colors. You're getting purple and you're getting black and that is perfect because typically I paint one nail a different color and so there we go. Another fun nail polish that I have just recently run across is this two pack by Julie. Now I saw the colors, absolutely loved the two packs and what came in them. And so I picked up three different sets and I am wearing one of the sets today. This was the set also that I picked up and I just loved, loved, loved this green. How fun is that? Such a pretty color. And let me tell you, I've had this on for a couple of days now and it does not chip, especially when you use the Sally Hansen gel top coat. 
it's amazing. I knew there was another color that I got. Here is the other color that I got as well. This is genius. Love, love, love this. I've never seen these before, so if other companies have made them before, I must have just missed it. But Sassy and Chic has a nail polish holder. Mm-hmm, that's what that is. Look at that. You stick your nail polish bottle right in there. Oh wait, we just gotta try this out, don't we? This is amazing. I love this because I paint my own nails all the time and I hate having to do this. And so a lot of times I'll hold it in my hand here and I'll do it like that. Now we can just go like this. Yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. That's what we're gonna do. Wait, I wonder, oh wait, look, let's try it. There's my bottle. How cool is that? Oh, wait, maybe I should open it first. I'm not gonna lie, I am super excited about this. This has gotta be the most genius idea ever. If you are looking for a good air freshener, let me tell you, I sprayed this in the Dollar Tree because I wanted to smell it before I bought it. And this smells amazing. It is the Hawaiian Retreat. Hawaiian Retreat. It is very concentrated. It smells amazing. And I like to spray it in my craft room when I go in there. And I will tell you that about an hour to two hours later, I can still smell it. I thought this was cool. Now, is it my decor style? Absolutely not. But I love that it said, this is us. I love the whole style of the frame. And so there are so many times where I'll see something like this and all of us may, and you shouldn't turn it down. We could probably switch up the paper. And so um, I think, oh, look at that. I think we should do that right now. What do you think? Now, I can say that periodically I have seen the Sharpie brand at Dollar Tree, but typically I don't see them. I see the Jot brand. Yep, Dollar Tree is now carrying two different size Sharpie pens. We have got the ultra fine point here. This actually fits in the Cricut. And this fine point, the regular Sharpie, what a fantastic find and buy, and I'm so glad that Dollar Tree is carrying these because I love Sharpies. Let me just tell you, these are squishy pens. They are so stinking cute, and I can't help it. When something is this cute, it deserves a stinking cute behind it. How cute is that French fry? Oh my word. Yeah, you gotta keep your eyes open for this because these make for great little gifts to give. Easter's coming. Oh my word, how fun would this be to add to an Easter basket? We've got a pizza. Oh, and they're super soft too. Do I have to give these to Allison? <laughs> and we've got a cute little waffle. Oh my goodness. These look like Shopkins. I feel like these look like Shopkins. This watermelon is amazing. How cute is that? It's very satisfying to push on these. But I think my favorite might be this popcorn. <laughs> How adorable is that? I love these. And of course, a pineapple. I had to get one of each for Allie. Next up, we've got jelly bellies. Now, I don't like jelly beans. The only jelly beans I will eat are jelly bellies because they are amazing. Their flavors are great. Dollar Tree's carrying three different types of jelly bellies. They've got the sour, the kids mix, and the assorted. And again, Easter is coming. How cute would these be in a jar? One of my most favorite candies in the world is Werther's Original. And I wanna say that it started off with the original hard candies, the caramel hard candies. I am a caramel fanatic. 
my acid reflex flares up every time I eat them or eat caramel, but I cannot stay away from it. It is one of my favorite things in the world. And so I just kind of bite the bullet and deal with the acid reflex when it comes and make sure that I have some antacids on hand. Oh my goodness, do I sound totally old? But you know if you were pregnant, you had acid reflex and I got it with Allison and it never went away. And so um, Werther's Original Hard Candies, hands down my favorite, but let me tell you, the one that took the cake and is now my new favorite. Yes, the caramel coffee. Oh my goodness, can I tell you, this tastes like you're sucking on a really sweet coffee bean. It is so good, and if you love coffee, you are going to love these. This is a must try, and they're sugar-free. Oh my goodness, who knew that sugar-free candy could taste so good? Well, if it's coffee flavored, why wouldn't it? Yep, Dollar Tree also has the cream filled ones. And so this one is a creamy caramel filled, but wait, I already dug into this one because sour apple is something that I absolutely love. Yep, they have the caramel apple filled. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these, I had to try them and they are so stinking good. I can't, I am so excited that Dollar Tree has these. For those of you who grind your teeth, I, I do grind my teeth. I grind my teeth so bad that I don't have fangs anymore. I have very flat, flat surfaces because I am a teeth grinder. Dollar Tree now has these mouth guards by Plackers. These are a very universal um, mouth guard that you can put in your mouth and they fit nicely. And when you go to bite down at night and grind your teeth, you're not going to grind them. So because I grind my teeth all the time, and it's probably because my brain never shuts off or shuts down, it causes me to have really bad TMJ. And because I have really bad TMJ, it causes ringing in my ears. And so when my jaw pops out of place, I will get ringing in my ears for a few months at a time and it is horrendous. So I have really gotten good about wearing my bite guard now, which will then in turn stop me from grinding, which will then cause all the inflammation in my jaw to go down and then it will cause the ringing in my ears to stop. And so if you are a teeth grinder, you need to get these because they do work and they are comfortable. And a lot of these are not very comfortable, but these are comfortable. This is a nourishing coconut oil for your hair by Salon Selectives. I love this. This is a product that I have bought at Walmart before. And I wanna say I paid three or $4 for this bottle. I like to put hair oil in my hair once a week just to really nourish it and I'll put it in at night and then in the morning I'll wake up and I'll wash it out so my hair doesn't get too oily. But I feel like the coconut oil really nourishes your hair and so the fact that Dollar Tree had these, I thought it was great and since I use it already, I picked up two. And I did see that they finally got these facial cleansing brushes back and so I picked up one of these because these are going to be something that I use in a gift idea for an upcoming Mother's Day DIY that you're gonna wanna stay tuned for. So I am getting older and um, I like to really moisturize my hands and take care of my nails. And so when I saw that Dollar Tree had this skin nutrition, this is a double strength retinol night repair serum, flawless, younger, and perfect. Okay, so it's supposed to help bring some of that elasticity back into your face or your skin. I, I don't use it for my face. I'm very particular about what I put on my face, but I will tell you what I use this for. Can you guess? Mm-hmm. I put the oil on my hands because I don't want my hands to age. I use my hands all the time. They're in a lot of water and a lot of chemicals and I'm washing them all the time because I'm DIYing and I'm a bit rough on them. And so I put this on my hands and can I tell you, I love it. It is amazing. It makes my hands feel soft, smooth. I've been using it, uh, I would say about a week now because I did find this a week ago and I love it. So if you see this at your Dollar Tree, maybe you wanna use it on your face. 
I'm using it on my hands and I love it. I feel like as we get older, we're always looking for serums. <laughs> serums that do this, serums that do that, to help with this, to help with that, to really try and defy the aging process. And so um, I saw these, I thought that these were really fun. This is a natural under eye serum here. It's supposed to help with that puffiness and get rid of some of those bags under your eyes. I also found this natural eyelash enhance serum with castor oil. So we need to enhance those eyelashes as they start getting scarce. And how about this bright skin serum? So as we get older, we wanna brighten our skin. We wanna have that glow, right? So how fun is that? Oh wait, but we're not done. We need retinol too. So retinol is good for our face. And so this is a skin cream with retinol. Retinol starts getting scarce in our skin and it's supposed to help with something. So get some retinol too. Dollar Tree's got it. How about a fun pack of clay masks? Oh my goodness, how fun is that? There is a method to my madness with all of this stuff. You're just gonna have to stay tuned for it. And if you see it and you think you might wanna do what I'm doing, you might wanna pick it up. This is kind of fancy. I know Dollar Tree has had something similar to it. My mom used to always put candles out with these candle snuffers. And when I saw this, I just love this. And this was almost identical to the one that I grew up watching my mom snuff our candles with. And so I think that that is super cute and would make for a really cute gift idea with a candle for Mother's Day or something. So many of you like the owl in my intro. You all know that I love owls. I just saw this new owl and oh my word, it's stinking cute. I had to have it. I always go through Dollar Tree stickers because they are great. Crafter Square has this new rub off set and it has lots of really cool words that would make for great additions to some kind of a tray. Red, white, and blue letters. I found them in the uppercase and the lowercase and I thought that these would be fun for 4th of July maybe. How about some prayer cards? How cool are these? Oh my goodness, I am loving these and when you flip it over on the back, it gives you an example. Should I open them so you can see? Let's open them. I thought these were really cool. You get 20 prayer cards in a box. And I think that these are just fun to kind of add to a card, to add to a Mother's Day gift, maybe just to put up on your refrigerator for the day to remind you these are a nice size. Wow, look at how pretty those are. Okay, so quick tip. For those of you who don't know, we love little critters. Gus Gus, say hi everybody. I'm Gus Gus. Don't show that. I'm Cinderella's Gus. We have Gus Gus and Jack Jack. <gasps> oh, oh, Gus Gus is gonna make a run for it. Gus Octavius, that's what Cinderella says. Oh, look at how cute he is. Watch, he's gonna clean himself here in a second. Oh, he just pooped. Say hi everybody. Look, it's Gus Gus. We love him. Oh, you're so cute, Gus. Hi, baby. He's so cute, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. We've got three hamsters and we have nine guinea pigs. And uh, we have a dog on the way. Little Winnie, our golden doodle, is being born any day now, which we're so excited about. But with those little critters comes bedding and messes. And I don't like to buy bedding all the time. I like to reuse our bedding and clean it. For those of you who have guinea pigs, it is really good for their paws to have fleece bedding or some kind of a fabric bedding. And our guinea pigs love fleece and fabric bedding. Dollar Tree has these bath mats that are amazing. And these make for great cage liners. I buy Dollar Tree's bath mats and dish mats for our cage liners because it is a great buy and you can't beat that. You can't make them for that cheap. I told you, random finds really describes this haul, but they are so cool. And I love that Dollar Tree is really, I guess, broadening their uh, inventory and what they're stocking their shelves with. I think it's cool. I love the items. Can I pick my favorite? I don't know that I can. I just think that they're cool random finds and that's why I brought them to you. Have I said random enough this haul? 
I, I don't know that I have, but they were. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my new finds today and the items that I think that you should keep your eyes open for at your local Dollar Trees. Now, I am very mindful that so many of you tell me your Dollar Trees don't carry what my Dollar Trees carry, but fingers crossed, we can only hope that Dollar Tree sees the error of their ways and they change what they're doing and they stock all the Dollar Trees the same. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive. <laughs>